Hello everyone, and today I'd like to pick up where we left off last time, where I showed you how to install the creation kit. Have a look back in the playlist of Skyrim Creation Kit tutorials to find that video. And today I will show you guys how to load a master file and get started in the Skyrim Creation Kit. So, first of all, you're wanting to launch the Creation Kit. Uh, ignore the messages I'm getting, he's a prick. Uh, <laughs> right, so... Here we are, launching the program, Creation Kit. And as you can see, we have no objects in the object window, so we can't actually edit anything or create any mods whatsoever. So, what we are wanting to do is, first of all, go to File, then Data. And this this is where you'll choose which which uh, master files you want to use and which file you want to edit. So today we're going to walk you through how to load a master file, how to create your own mod essentially, and how to edit that mod. So I decided to condense this in the one video since it will only take like five minutes to do, and may as well do it in the one setting. So let's first of all let's. Uh, load the Skyrim master file. This is what you really want to edit. So this will load all the files in the vanilla game without DLC. He, by the way, these are extra files from the mods I've downloaded. So ideally what you should have is Skyrim, Dragonborn, Hearth Files, Dawnguard and uh, HD Texture Pack. That is what is included in the Skyrim Ultimate Edition. If you just bought the original version and you have no DLC, you'll only have the Skyrim.esm. So, for today's video, and for most of your mods, you only want to download Skyrim. You only Let me rephrase that since I spaghetti my words. You only want to load the Skyrim.esm. So, check that box, and once it's checked, hit OK. And this creation kit will take t 10 centuries to load all the files and it's just a piece of shit but nonetheless it should load all the files you might get a few hitches and it might look as if it's going to crash just give it time and if it crashes and then google the problem since you know I can't fix every issue and you might get a problem like this where it says has no parent space blah blah blah, blah or anything like that just hit yes to all and if the kit doesn't crash then you're golden. It's fucking terrible that uh, <laughs> these dev tools still have bugs when this game's been out for three or four years. It's a bloody joke, man. And there we go, we've loaded the master file. That's all the objects in the vanilla game in this window here, the object window. I, I will walk you through what each of these uh, tabs does in a future video. So, we'll probably do that next after this one. So, Okay, that's all the files. Your, your game has been loaded, you're free to edit the game. So, let's say we want to create our mod. So, what we want to do, after you've made a few a few edits, and edited what you want, hit file, hit save, and here you will be in your Skyrim data folder. So, we will be saving it as an Elder Scrolls plugin, ESP, and to fix this, not to fix this, what we want to do is to create a file. So, choose choose a file name that's relevant to your mod. So let's say, oh grey fox is. No, you don't want that. Oh grey fox, shitty tutorial. So <laughs> that's a that's a good file name. It's relevant and uh, provides all the information we need. So probably something short, all one word. No dodgy characters, no spaces, since that will be that will probably cause problems in the future. So all one word, blah de blah de blah, and once it's that once we've got our file name, hit save. I shouldn't be walking you through how to save a file. Like, sure, you guys know how to do that. Okay, saving is done. So, okay, see, I've made my mod, done, made a few, uh, made a few changes, and I've got something in the game. We don't, but we will if if you're following these tutorials eventually. So let's say we've made a few edits, blah 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 blah, and I'm coming back to this at a later date. I'm finished. I'm closing the creation kit. Okay, creation kit's closed. I go to test my mod, and for some reason it's doing this weird shit where, you know, 
it's spawning hundreds of legionary soldiers in Skyrim. I don't know why it would, but that that's evidently a bug, right? So what we want to do is go back into the Skyrim treasure kit to fix that bug. This is a hypothetical bug. Uh, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. If if you don't understand me, because <laughs> I am not changing my voice. I can't do it. So. To what the what a previous file you've edited, go to file, there, double check, check all the master files that you had previously used for creating the mod, and once you've done that, find find the ESP here. So okay, Fox, shitty tutorial. Uh, let's let's check that, and as you can see, it just says plugin file. Plugin files are separate from master files, and you actually have to set them as the thing you want to edit. So this is where this button here comes in. So set as active file and as you'll see here the status will say active file and you hit OK. This will this will load the mod you previously worked on and all its dependencies. So once it's loaded we have we will be free to edit it again. One files initializing. Of course, there's a bug. <sighs> Creation kit can never make it easy for you, can it? Pile of fucking shit is what it is. Man, I draw. I genuinely rather work in a Eclipse any day of the week. I fucking hate Java, but you know, I'd rather do it than this because Creation kit is fucking shit. Okay, so, sorry for the rant, uh, Creation Kit has loaded our previous mod, and voila, this is, this will ha this will be the file, and you can feel free to find any changes that you already made. So that's how to load the previous file you've edited. So in this tutorial, uh, I showed you how to create a new mod, I showed you how to edit an existing mod. So, that is some valuable information, and Ideally, it shouldn't have took like fucking five, five, ten minutes to explain, but I want to show this to the very, very new people to this sort of thing and walk them through it. So, okay, thanks guys for watching and let me know if this is boring as shit and you want any more complicated tutorials. So, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.